All right, it's Sandra here on Sunday Breakfast. This is the moment we talk about Sandra and Meets, where I meet some incredible people who are creative and musical, and that is what it's all about. Well, the City of Culture celebrations are well underway now here in Coventry. We kicked things off two weeks ago, and ever since, there's been a, well, plenty to see in the city and online. And over in Fargo Village, starting from today, there'll be something else to see. Now, Tala Patel joins me this morning to tell me more. Good morning, Tala. Good morning, Sandra. Lovely to meet you. And you. How are you doing today? I'm good. A bit nervous, but today's going to be pretty amazing with Ooh. the... Um... <laughs> <laughs> Don't be nervous. Leave that to me. Leave that to me. I can cope with the nerves. Um, wow. Hey, listen, is it raining your end? I know we're only just across the city, but what's it like your end? <laughs> it's just slightly drizzly, but it's fine. Oh, my gosh. Where's that sunshine gone? We want that back, don't we? We want that back. But anyway, I'm loving the opportunity to talk to you. So, Tala, you're in Fargo Village, like we just said, right now. Um, what's happening today? So, today we have a Rises exhibition, which is actually an art exhibition of photography, prints, textiles and sculptures. We've got a six-foot lantern from the So What group, and Twin Studios are actually presenting their... Um, Twin Cities prototype, which would be pretty amazing. So we've got so much going on. We've got 17 artists in two groups, and we'd love people to come and visit. We're on till Friday, and we've got an open mic on Thursday. So if anyone wants to do some poetry or a bit Ooh. of spoken word Thursday evening, please do come by. Um, so plenty, ha- plenty happening. Yeah, I can do a bit of moonwalking. I'm not sure whether it's legal, but I might be able to yeah shake a leg and, and do something like that for you. But you know, I might have to charge you for that. We, though, we but anyway. some poetry to that, I think. <laughs> <laughs> oh, don't know about that. Don't know about that. So you've named a lot of amazing things. It's all part of co- covert arts. What is covert arts or coverts? What did you, how so, do you pronounce it? Yes, it's covert art. So it's like Coventry and covert because we oh. wanted to try and represent people in Coventry that would probably need a little bit of help in like exhibiting their work. Mm-hmm. And um, so Covert Arts came together in October last year. And it's all during the pandemic. We really wanted to try and get involved with um, what's happening in City of Culture and try and get artwork out there from local people. And this is what we've managed today. And we are also, it's a group that's part of Fogel Create, which I think people know, an offbeat theatre company. So we do a lot of um, work with the community yeah. Um, in Coventry. Yeah, OK. And it's from today. Brilliant. Now, I mean, you're setting it up. Uh, what is your favourite thing in the exhibition? Have you got something that's your favourite? Oh, know. my gosh. Um, so, <laughs> I do. So, the So What, um, Amanda Harron is an artist. She's actually based in Nuneaton. So, what's lovely about this um, exhibition is we've got Coventry and people from outside Coventry as well in the West Midlands and Warwickshire. And she's actually created a six foot lantern oh. of ribbons and it's a um celebrating the 100 years of achievement by women and i think this is going to be amazing and it will be featuring within the exhibition it'll be fantastic wow so d- tell me a little bit more about this whole aspect of women achieving things so it's is it celebrating specific people or just women in general so I think originally she was telling me that the um, exhibition, well, the the sculpture was actually only supposed to be a UK thing. And then people from all over the world started sending in ribbons. And it was um, to do with the International Women's Day and um, voting as well, um, having the right to vote. And so those are some of the aspects and there are messages on the ribbons. So I think it's going to be really great for people to come around and have a look at oh it sounds incredible it does it does and what a brilliant positive message as well particularly for our young women our young girls as well to see something six foot did you say it was <laughs> six foot yeah so uh, ah! i'm just waiting for that to come in so All i'm right. excited oh gosh gosh someone's gonna ring that doorbell soon and say it's arrived <laughs> so <laughs> that's, uh, it, how, that's it <laughs> and how can people get tickets and it's it's so brilliant it really is so you can actually book on the Coventry City um, website, or you can actually come along. Um, so I've just been um, I've been just told some great news. So we can have 50% cap- capacity. That's the wrong wrong word. I'm sure of it. Um, within Fargo. So if people come down, um, they will actually become able to come and have a view of the exhibition 
um, without going onto the Coventry, Univers- Coventry um, City of Culture website. So just come along. Just come we'll along. We'll be here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm going to tr- I'm going to try my best to get down there. Uh, it's Father's Day, so uh, I don't know what I end up might not have to. Well, I have to just bring my husband. Fingers crossed. We are oh. we are here all all week, so we'll be lo- oh. love to see you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that's good to know. All week, and uh, what a great opportunity! Brilliant showcase of local and some regional artists as well. And they can just remind everybody where they can get the tickets again. So it's um, Coventry City of Culture website and it's called the Rises Exhibition. All right, Tala, you go. I don't want anybody ringing that doorbell and you're still stuck on the phone with me. Don't want that to be a problem. So, listen, have a wonderful, amazing time. Uh, Covert Arts, what a great uh, name as well. Pretty cool, I like that. All the very best today. Thank you, Sandra. Bye. Bye. She's good, isn't she? That's going to be good. Go to Fargo Village if you've got a chance and bring that father, that, f- that fatherly figure. It might enjoy that, might fill up part of the day. Wow, we do get the greatest stories for Sandra and Meet.